Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stitches Ohana. My name is Thomas, and today we got a lot to get through. I ordered a few things from a few different Etsy shops, and we're gonna go through and see what I got. I got everything from pins, to candles, to mystery boxes. So it's a lot of fun. I've also got one box that just showed up today. I'm not really sure what it is, so it'll be a fun little open for all of us together. So the first thing I'm gonna open up is some pins. It's from an Etsy shop called Clubhouse Buttons. And I'll be linking their information in the comment section below. These, uh, I saw these pins on Etsy and I thought they're really cute, cool little mashup uh, pins. They were super cool. So I got the three that I really liked. Let me just open up the bag. I got a little card that says, welcome to the club, clubhouse buttons. Thank you for your order. And it gives me their Facebook, Instagram um, information. And again, I'll be posting that in the about section. Uh, and they also got a personal note from Alex who runs this. And it says, when you order from a small shop, an actual person does a happy dance. Thank you so much for all the love and support on our pin designs. We are so grateful. Be sure to check back as we release a new Stitch Princess each month, along with some fun other surprises. That's pretty cool, a Stitch Princess. Not sure how I feel about that, but we'll see. Stitch and drag might be kind of cool. So, I got three different mashup pens, and they're all Stitch related, because as you know, I love Stitch. The first one I got, is Stitch dressed up in a touristy, Disneyland touristy outfit. And it kind of looks like that outfit that the genie wears at the very end of Aladdin when he's going to Disneyland. Look at that. So let's look at the back of it. These are a two pin back. Nothing on the back, just your basic sanding. I love Stitch, look how cute he is. Little goofy, goofy hat. I really like this pin. The next one we have Goofy, or sorry, Stitch as Jafar. These are like little Stitch Halloween outfits. These are so cute. He's got his little staff, but this Jafar would never do anything evil. Even though he's designed to, 626 is not gonna do anything evil for reals. Again, two pin back. And the final one I got from Clubhouse Buttons, and I guess this is, this is almost a Disney princess. I don't know, is she a Disney princess yet, but Moana. Stitch as Moana. And I love this mashup because they're both Islanders. And he's got his little boat oar, his little uh, grass skirt. Super, super cute pins. They do a lot of other um, different types of pins and mashups and stuff. Uh, but these three I really fell in love with. So those were cool. I'm glad those showed up. I'm really excited about these. The next thing we're gonna open up, this is from Mr. Holiday Candle. Um, he hit me up on Instagram because I do a lot of my wishes candle stuff. So he hit me up and uh, I've been watching his stuff and I noticed he made this limited edition candle um, that is figment related. And um, I'm not, I don't know much about Figment. Um, I think that's more of a Disney World uh, character, but I see him on a lot of different Instagrams and YouTubers. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd check him out and, and uh, I think this was the last Figment candle he had. I think he only made like 10 of these, so I got the last one. So I got a little thank you card uh, personalized with my name and a personalized note that says, thanks for your order, I hope you love them. You have the last figment. Peace and love, Daniel. 
And again, it came with his Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy shop information. I will be, again, posting that in the About section below. So here's the candle. It comes in this mil uh, orange tissue paper, and it says Mr. Holiday Candle Company on it. Established 2020. So we'll open up the first one. And the first one I got is the Tiki Room. And now these are pure soy wax candles. These are eight ounce candles. So when I think of Tiki Room, I think exotic, I think tropical. Uh, I definitely think Dole Pineapple Whip. Um, I'm definitely getting tropical fruits out of this. It's definitely a fruity scent. I'm not sure I'm getting pineapple though. I think I'm getting like, almost like, um, maybe a little pineapple, but more like mango. I don't know. I, I don't remember seeing what the scents listed for on these on his Etsy work I'll hit him up and um, and I'll see if I can find those and I'll add those to the about section once I hear back but it's definitely a good flavor it's a very fruity flavor it's tropical it's very nice uh, next one again same wrapping paper the next one I got um, Soren over is one of my favorite rides in California Adventure. And I love Orange Groves. And before it was changed to Soaring Over the World, it used to be, in California Adventure at least, it was Soaring Over California. And they would take you over Orange Groves in California. And I just, I love that smell. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so, oh, it's so good. <laughs> this is such a good scent. If you like oranges and orange groves, highly, highly recommend checking this candle out. It's almost more of a punch in your face, orange smell, which I like um, than other candles that, that say they're orange scented or uh, California orange grove scented. Um, this one's really, it just really punches you in the face, which if you're like me, it's awesome. I love that smell. I can't wait to burn that one. And the final one I got is it's a figment themed candle. Now figment, I'm not sure. I know that's a Walt Disney World thing or an Epcot thing, um, but I don't know who figment is. I'm not sure where he's from or what he represents or anything. I'm assuming he's just, uh, he's supposed to be just your figment of imagination and imagination is part of the Disney um, idea. So I'm assuming that's all it is. But if you know, please let me know in the comment section. I'm interested to know what figment's background is so the reason i got this candle is one it's such an awesome pour it looks like a sunset but the other thing was this was the last candle of the figment series i i think he only poured like 10 um, and i did get the last one so i was super excited uh, and again, he wrote that personally on the uh, the note, the thank you note he sent me. Um, oh, again, such a great smell. All these are, are fruit forward scents, which I love. I'm getting like mango off of this one. Almost like a peach mango. Again, not... All I know is it's a figment candle. I don't know what the scent's supposed to be. I will ask about that and see if I can get that information and post it in the comment below. But as of now, this is the last figment candle available. I don't think I'm gonna be burning this one just because it is a limited release, limited edition candle. I think this will just be kind of hanging out in my background here. Uh, just to be part of the the background for my uh, for my videos. Um, of course, if I run out of candles or he makes more of these, I'll definitely burn this one and buy more. But um, for now, that's, that's background candle. 
So the last Etsy shop that I went through is called Lotus, Lotus Enchantments. And Lotus Enchantments does a few different mystery box kind of ideas. Uh, so they have a Disney one, they have a Harry Potter one, uh, and they have, a, they have one called the Goblet Box. And the Goblet Box is basically they give you either a wine cup or a beer mug or a coffee mug or something like that. Um, and then some different things to go along with it. So what I decided to do was get the Disney box and get the Goblet box. The Disney box I believe cost $40 and it's a one time, it's not a subscription, it's a one time thing that I got. And then the Goblet box was I believe $19. Again, I'll put all that information in the about section below so you can check them out. You'll get their Instagram and any other information I can find out uh, to help support them. So, um, I had already opened the box because I thought inside this box was two smaller boxes, um, but it wasn't. It's all kind of in there, um, packaged that way, which is fine. Uh, I did get an email from her saying that both boxes were supposed to be in one box, so I thought that meant two separate boxes within a box, but it's everything's just mixed up. So I'm not sure what's supposed to be part of the Disney box and what's supposed to be part of the, uh, the Goblet box. So we'll kind of just take our best guess. Um, but looking at the top already, I'm seeing a, it's like a camp style coffee mug and it's got a etching on it and it looks like, um, I'm guessing this is a Magic Kingdom because that's Epcot. I know that's the Animal Kingdom and I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Disney Springs. Um, again, I'm not, my home park is Disneyland in California. Um, I believe that's Disney Springs. If you can confirm that with me or you let me know what it really is, comment section below, please. I'm interested in learning more about the Florida Disney World and Disney goers. So it's your basic uh, camp style coffee mug. I can always use more coffee mugs. Um, I love going camping, like, you know, we just went glamping, but we do need to go actual camping with a tent once it cools down a little bit. So I'll be able to take that with me and uh, do some coffee over a burning fire in the morning. That's always fun. Uh, the next thing I see right off the top, it looks like a, either an ashtray or maybe even a little candy dish. And it says zero forks given with forky right there. Uh, next, I see two cups. It's a black water cup that says zero forks given with Forky again. And the other one says, we're all mad here. And that's the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. These are your basic uh, water, water cups or juice cups. Uh, we can always use more of those at the house, especially if they're Disney themed. Next, it looks like either a chip clip, uh, but it also has grooves here, so you might be able to put it on a, um, a bulletin board or something. So I can probably take this to work um, and hang up a few like scheduling kind of things on this um, because I don't really, I buy chips, but I always buy the small bag so I don't overindulge in chips. So I never need chip clips. Uh, so this will probably be taken to work and use for scheduling paperwork and stuff like that. Uh, next I have, this is really cute. It's a honey jar or honey pot. It's got the little baby poo eating honey and it's got the little honey, um, oh, what are these called? The honey stirs, the, I, I see them. I, I don't know what it's called. It's, I, it's a stirrer, I think. But you put it in the honey, you put in your tea, you stir it around, super cute. I love honey in my tea. Uh, when we were in Idlewild for our anniversary, I bought a couple jars of uh, fresh honey and I bought some honeycomb. Never tried that, but I, I, uh, I bought some and I, I recently tried it and I, I really enjoy it. Um, it's got some waxy parts at the top, but the actual honey flavor is incredible. So. Um, if you if you find some honeycomb, fresh honeycomb, I, I, I'd try it. 
This is really nice. Now my area, we get we get ants pretty easily, so I'm not sure I'd put honey in here. Um, unfortunately, I'm afraid the seal's not gonna be enough, especially with this top here where the ants aren't gonna like attack it. But I can put other things in here. Um, but who knows? I might keep my honey in my fridge. I just It just hardens too quick. And then there's one last thing in here. It's a notebook with the same etching on it with uh, Walt Disney, uh, Disney World, uh, Epcot, Disney Springs, if I'm right, and Animal Kingdom. Looks like it's just plain, no, uh, nothing special inside, it's not Disney themed, so um, I'm assuming a lot of this is uh, handcraft items and that she just put this on there, which I really like. I do need a new notebook for work, so this, uh, along with my chip clip, is going to be going to work with me. Um, I actually might take this too and put some Jolly Ranchers or something like that for my desk, so I can use I can use all this stuff. Um, for for the subscri subscription box, it's not a subscription box. It's uh, for the mystery box, I should say. This is actually pretty good. Um, I would say this definitely made it all worth it. Even though I might not use this for actual honey, it's definitely worth just having something that adorable. I also love my coffee mug. I always need a new coffee mug. I love this one. Um, but overall, very, very happy with my box. Um, I'd, I'd probably try them again. I, I'm kind of curious about what the, the Harry Potter mystery box is and see what it is. So I might get that uh, the next time and um, see how that one goes. So, the final thing to open, again, not sure what this is. I don't remember everything I ordered. I just kind of, when I'm in an ordering mode, I just kind of black out and just, yes, 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 a cart, cart, cart. Um, so, we're going to open this one together. It says D23 Member Fulfillment. Um, I am a D23 member. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a... It's a membership um, and they have free one versus the gold family member one, which costs money, for it's an annual uh, fee. I am part of the gold family member, so I do pay the annual fee and you get uh, a box with a couple different goodies in it. You get invites to exclusive parties and events and things like that. You get um, exclusive invites to go see movies and stuff like that so it's 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 really cool unfortunately this year with everything that's going on you know things have been more virtual and less interactive um but that's okay i mean i'm still getting my money's worth and things and now that i'm talking about it, i think i know what this is yes it is okay so this is one of the perks of being a d23 member you get exclusive um deals on things and this is a limited release for D23 members. It's a pin collection, a set of four. Let me just take it out of the box here. These are all two backer pins, but they all represent different uh, movies in the Disney world. So here you have Mary Poppins on Cherry Tree Lane. You can see she's coming down on her umbrella. You have Zootopia, Monstropolis, and over here it says 2319, which is code for there's a there's a kid, or no, is that, it's human artifacts inside. If you know, put in the comments. And last one is Cusco-topia, which if, if you remember is the water park he wanted to put on the mountain or the hill of uh, the friend, um, I forget his name, John Goodman played him, but they end up friends. Again, if you know, comment. Um, so that, that, now I remember, I remember buying this. So this was 40 bucks, so 10 bucks per pin, but they're pretty hefty pins, they're pretty big, um, nice detail, and again, they're 23, D23 member exclusives. Um, so, I mean, they might, eventually release some but 
Again, D23, you can be a free member. I'm sure you would get the ability to purchase these. Um, I don't think this is just for the gold family member, D23 members. I'm sure it's for anyone. Um, so if you're not a D23 member and you want to try it out, just try up for the free subscription and see how you like it. They do giveaways, sweepstakes, uh, exclusive merchandise. Um, if you do become the, the annual member, you do get a, a box with some goodies in it. And I've posted that on my Instagram. Um, I'll put the link down below. You can check out what I got in my in the 2020 D23 um, annual member box. So overall, this was a lot of great stuff. I mean, I got some awesome pens. I got some great smelling candles. I got a really good mystery Disney box slash goblet box. And I got to open up something I completely forgot I bought, but really cool pins. Ugh, I'm really excited about all these things. So I think my favorite items out of everything have to be from Clubhouse Buttons. My Stitch as Moana. That's my favorite one out of them. From Mr. Holiday Candle. It's a toss up between the Figment, but I think that one is mostly because it's limited release. It's the last of its, if, of its kind from him. So I think I feel, I feel pretty special that ways but i'd have to say the soren over orange groves again oh, such a great smell i love it from lotus enchantments my honey pot and my new coffee mug those are my two favorites and then this I'd probably say my favorite movie out of these is probably Mon Monsters, Inc. Um, I love Monsters, Inc. Recently just watched uh, Monster University. Love those. I just love the characters. So what'd you guys think? What'd you like? What didn't you like? Would you try any of these Etsy shops? I highly recommend all of them. They're all great. Um, they were all very responsive, very nice uh, communication with them. And again, I'll be posting all their information down below, including their Etsy shop and their Instagram. Um, so let me know what your favorite item was that I got. Let me know what candle scent you would have liked. Um, what stitch princess would you like to see? I can pass that on and hopefully Clubhouse Button will watch this and they can get some ideas from different stitch princesses and stitch idea mashups that we like. Um, and let me know, would you, would you try the uh, Disney mystery box or the Harry Potter mystery box? Let me know what you think. Um, please make sure you share, like, and subscribe to this channel. I love doing these videos and I want, I want this channel to grow. I want to interact with all of you. I want to just, I, I love sharing all these fun things I buy. And I, I, I love when I get messages from my subscribers. I really, I really enjoy doing this. Okay, everyone. That's it for me today. Thanks. Bye.